Race Formula 90 is a Formula 1 racing game. No kidding, eh? Players will battle each other in a game controlled robots for the checkered flag. Race Formula 90 isn't well known. It's by a small publisher. Also, if you were a casual race fan or gamer, you'd pull this down, look at the back, and be like, nope, it looks complicated. And it is. The advanced rules are probably the heaviest or most complex of any non-war game we have. You'll choose how to set your car up, decide on how much fuel to have, select strategies, skills, manage pit stops and damage, the weather, and yeah. The thing is, Race Formula 90 also offers basic rules. Plus, the advanced rules can be added in steps so you can play them once you're ready. I'm going to focus on the basic rules today. These player boards show your driver's abilities and store all of your resources. On the left, you'll see how many black tire discs to take. Next to that are red circles. This is to track damage during the race. Below is a spot to hold your tire discs. In the bottom left corner, you'll see how many cars you start with. Each driver's board is different, and the advanced game lets you change things even more. Let's look at those strategies and skills now. They are picked at the beginning and are your driver's or team's natural abilities. Quick reflexes, fast pit stops, and so on. Strategies are black tokens. They are how you plan to drive that race. Are you going to be aggressive and bang wheels with other drivers? Maybe you will want to save your tires a bit, then push hard on those long streets. The black pond shows what lap you're on. Notice that the short race ends on lap 19. You'll also see scheduled pit stops. Is the race getting tight and a robot or another player are pitting soon? Push hard to move just out of reach and then pit on your own, coming out fresh and still ahead. That's just one strategy. There are as many as you can imagine. The cards are how you will play the game. Draw one, play one, and pay the tire cost, then move that many spots. If you play a one, you can play another card as a combo. You can also play a pair of twos. Don't worry about colors and other details in the basic game. Just focus on the movement value in the top right and the check factor in the bottom right. The check factor is the number in the diamond. On tricky corners, say to see if you spun out or not. You'll need to run a check. Also, some cards actually say the word check, sometimes with a number. This just means you see if your number is higher or lower. Add or subtractive shown. It sounds more complicated than it is. Basically, something challenging is happening. Run a check to see if you passed or failed. A fail usually means drawing a random damage discs. Reds can be fixed during pits. Browns cannot. Passes means you succeeded. Good job! There isn't much more that isn't shown on the track. The little color trajectories mean taking the best racing laps. If you got to a spot first, play a matching card on your next turn and enjoy an extra bit of movement. Passing is more difficult in corners, usually resulting in a minigame contest where all the drivers choose one card to play, hoping to come out ahead. Play cards, follow your strategy, and manage your car or resources. That's Race Formula 90. Race Formula 90 is a weekend game. It takes between 2 and 3 hours, including setup and takedown. We bag and separate everything and use little cups for the components. You will want to as well. You can play with 2 to 6 players. I've played at 3, 4, and 5. My parents have played it too. It's super fun at all counts. The game is a table hog. I would recommend only playing this on large rectangle tables. The box is 12 and up. There are some small pieces and the strategy is the big thing. The basic rules mechanisms aren't too bad. Big numbers beat small numbers. Add single numbers every once in a while and have an adult help with remembering the rules for checks. I think kids 8 to 10 and up will be fine. 
My mom takes a lot of risks in board games, especially in games with player elimination. My parents had already played twice before my first game. I've played it eight times. Dad was fighting the one robot and trying to hold off Mom. It was the final lap, and Mom wrecked her car. Our sixth play, Mom crashed out halfway through the race. I think she misjudged things and ran at a few or tire discs. Our seventh play, Mom spun into a wall during a late break attempt. She failed the checks to get back on the track. Her car was too damaged, and that was it for her. Even with the basic rules, the game is long. It's very exciting though, so you are interested the whole time. Actually, even a three hour game, it seems half as long. My parents say the rulebook isn't great. We printed a fan rulebook from BGG that's excellent. We also have some player aids and things to help, and I recommend them too. Getting from shelf to table isn't easy. Choose. Sort, shuffle, place, take that as much quicker as you can imagine. Basically, have someone who knows the game get it ready. A non-gamer might lose their patience or get overwhelmed otherwise. I kind of wish the car minis were better. They look more like cartoon race cars instead of F1 cars. I love how variable this game is. Player power, strategies, skills, pit stop schedule means things are going to be different. Then you think about the track layouts, their shapes, and difficulty to pass or take corners. And remember how I said there were advanced rules? Yeah, those keep players on their toes as well. The game is really challenging, especially with the fastest robots. But because it's so exciting, you have fun even if you don't win. Race Formula 90 is the only game my parents have rated a 10 on BGG. They like some games I don't like, and I like some games that they don't like. That isn't the case here. I love this game. The only reason we don't play every weekend is time. It isn't as difficult to learn as you might think, and the rules mean you can grow into it as you get better. Two thumbs!